What's poppin'? It's the beast of rap, rock solid with the best hands in the rap game. Though I'm a rap artist, I'm also a natural drug-free bodybuilding champion. I've been boxing for over 20 years. I'm a fight fanatic. Been watching MMA, UFC since the 90s. I've been lifting these heavy-ass weights and watching boxing since the 80s. So I know my shit. This is the channel you come to when you want to see boxing and MMA content. When you want to see the fight reactions, the fight reviews, the breakdowns, and the tale of the tapes with no bias. And not only that, you get to hear some dope-ass motivational, inspirational music by your boy Rock Solid. I write all my own lyrics. I'm real in everything that I say. And I also produce, film, direct, edit all my own music videos. So what the fuck are you waiting for? Subscribe. Yo, yo, it's your boy Rock Solid. Look, this is my third video. Y'all need to go to, if you haven't seen my videos to my instant fight reaction, you need to go see it right now. <laughs> you need to go see this shit right now. If you didn't see my prediction video, you need to go watch this shit right now. It is fucking epic. And I told y'all motherfucker what was going to happen. Look, outside of being robbed by the judges, I talked about that today, but in my prediction video, I talked about why you should you should bet that Francis is going to win this fucking fight, which he did win the fight. Francis Ngannou is the lineal heavyweight boxing champion of the world, and he is a UFC heavyweight champion of the fucking world. Unbelievable. And I, I told y'all about this shit long time. I told y'all about this shit months ago before they even signed this fight. I said, with Dana White, cut Francis Ngannou and try to ruin him. I said, Francis Ngannou is going to become the biggest combat sports star in history. Get the biggest bag he's ever gotten in his life. And Dana's going to regret this shit. I said, I said it all over three months ago. Go look. It's on my fucking channel. But look, can we talk about how Tyson Fury try to turn this into an MMA fight? <laughs> And he had that big, strong black motherfucker in front of him. That motherfucker was throwing elbows, trying to clinch, trying to go for double leg take. <laughs> so what the fuck? What the fuck is Fred, what, what the fuck is Tyson Fury doing? He cannot handle that strong motherfucker. I've I've been telling y'all that. Look, I've been telling y'all this shit. How long have I been telling y'all that? People who've been following me, go look at some of the comments under. They say, bro, you you called it. How long I've been telling y'all that friends that that. That Tyson Fury is not as good as y'all think he is. He's just big. I've been telling y'all that. Deontay Wilder came into the fight 215 pounds, going to get some man almost 300, taller than him, outweighed him by damn near 100 fucking pounds. <laughs> I told y'all, Tyson, Tyson Fury is just a big motherfucker. He's big and he's strong. That's, that's his advantage. He's not really a superior boxer like everybody's saying he is. He's big. This proves it. Francis Ngannou made his boxing debut today, y'all. This is his boxing debut against the lineal greatest heavyweight champion of this era. And beat him. Not only beat him, he fucking dropped him. <laughs> Did y'all see the look on Tyson Fury's face when he got hit by that motherfucker? <laughs> you see him? Clinching, scared of death. He was scared of death. Look, I've been telling y'all that power is a great is an equalizer. I if you look at my prediction video, I talk about this shit, y'all. I literally said, y'all always talk about how Deontay Wilder can't box and got the worst boxing skills in history. Who was Tyson Fury's toughest fight before tonight? Deontay Wilder. I've been telling y'all been saying that power is a motherfucker, man. I've been telling y'all, if Deontay Wilder had 50 pounds on him, Fury would not stand a fucking chance. And I told y'all in my prediction video, I said, Fury's not going to be able to bully Francis like that. I said, if he comes at, at, at Francis like that, who is used to a real fight, and tries to clinch with him and try to bully, lean on him like he does smaller men, he's going to get fucked up. I said this in my prediction video. I say this is the first time that that Tyson Fury has ever been in the ring with a guy that's stronger than him, that, that actually hits harder than him, and who he can't beat in a real fucking fight. 
right? Because you try to look at anybody that Tyson Fury has fought, you'll be like, yeah, well, you know, they he could probably beat them in a real fight because he's bigger, stronger, probably, you know, got more skills, whatever. Francis Ngannou was not going to be intimidated with a guy that he knows that he would fucking kill in a real fight. But he knows that, bro, why would he be intimidated? Why would he be intimidated by Tyson Fury when he knows that he would kill him in, in, in if, if he wasn't limited to just hands only? This was his boxing debut. And he became the fucking, this is the true baddest man on the planet, y'all. The true baddest man on the planet. He is... So many people have said that baddest man on the planet in boxing or baddest man on the planet in MMA. This is the first time ever we truly know who's the baddest motherfucker on the planet in both sports. Because we both know Tyson Fury don't last one round against Francis Ngannou in any other combat sport. Tyson Fury embarrassed boxing tonight. Tyson Fury is humiliated. I'm telling y'all, he's humiliated right now. <laughs> like, I saw an interview with John Fury and his brother Tommy, and they asked him what they thought about Tyson's performance. The most quiet I've ever seen John Fury and Tommy. They He wouldn't even look at the fucking camera. I warned y'all about this. Have y'all... Bro, bro, look, I know that a lot of y'all like to watch quick little videos and shit like that. I'm telling you. I'm going to put it in the comment section. Look at my prediction video. My prediction video, I said this was going to happen. I said this was going to happen three months ago before the fight even got announced. I said that this fight was going to happen and that Francis Ngannou was going to take everything away from Tyson Fury. And it was going to be the biggest mistake of his life. I've been saying that this was going to happen. He embarrassed. Do y'all know when I watch... Boxers, not boxers, but just fighters reaction from MMA and boxing to this fight. Do y'all know? Not a single fucking boxer. I'm glad they kept it real. Not a single fucking boxer said that Tyson Fury won that fight. Not a single one. Every single boxer said Francis Ngannou beat Tyson Fury. Francis Ngannou is the lineal champion of the world right now. They robbed him because they didn't want to fuck up that Usyk fight. They, they need that... Tyson Fury, they want the, uh, this is a, this is a boxing match. It was a boxing match tonight. They want to secure, they can't let Francis upset, you know, the apple cart. They, they, they knew we can't fuck up Usyk and Tyson Fury for the undisputed uh, championships of the world and lineal championship of the world. We can't allow that to happen. Why do you think it took so long for them judges? Everybody watching that fight know who the fuck won that fight. You did not walk away from that fight saying Tyson Fury won. Not just because of the knockdown. You look at that fight, you really didn't see Tyson Fury landing a bunch of punches and shit. He could not do. Tyson Fury got embarrassed. He left bleeding. His eyes swollen. He got dropped by a box, a MMA fighter's debut. Bad motherfucker, man. How is Francis Ngannou not the true baddest motherfucker? And Dana White fumbled the bag. Dana White looks stupid as shit right now. Cause he could he could be talking, he could be bragging his ass off, saying right now, he got the baddest motherfucker in the UFC. Can't say that now. You can't say that now. Even when you try to say baddest man on the planet with John Jones or Stipe or whoever, everybody knows who it, who it really is. Just like I've been saying, the true heavyweight champion of the world in UFC is Francis Ngannou. Until John Jones or Stipe or whoever beats jo uh, Francis Ngannou, they're not the true heavyweight champion of the world. And it's just just facts. Dana White is, he's on a respirator right now. He needs CPR. Somebody needs to go, he's on a ventilator. I'm telling you, Dana White is kicking himself in the ass right now. And I said that shit. I said he's going to kick himself in the ass. Tyson Fury tried to turn this into an MMA match. He was trying to survive. He did not want to get hit by that motherfucker. Francis Ngannou hits different. The hardest recorded punch ever. He did not, he felt that. He felt that, did not want to get close at all. Telling y'all, y'all think, oh, this is ring rust. No, he felt that power, did not want to get hit by that motherfucker. It's different. That He hit harder than Deontay Wilder, I'm telling you. I try to tell y'all that shit, man. Y'all ain't believe it. Y'all think Deontay Wilder at 215 hit harder than Francis Gano knock. Francis Gano was 270 with that shit. You saw even when Fury got, was on the canvas, Fury's eyes was like this. Like, what the fuck just hit me? 
He got rocked several times. Even by a jab, I saw his eyes roll back. He tried to turn this. He tried to cheat and turn it into an MMA fight. He literally elbowed him on purpose. I saw it. He elbowed him on purpose. He tried to go for takedowns, everything. This motherfucker was desperate. And Francis Ngannou was just throwing him off of him. Like, get the fuck off me. <laughs> no more talk about who the baddest man on the planet. It's Francis Ngannou. I'm rock solid. I'm out.